Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Thursday, May 4th, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Now that we're past the draft and news was likely to slow down, I was planning on helping you get to know some of the team's undrafted free agents each day before OTAs begin later this month. Well, as luck would have it, the Niners helped me out on that one because they signed wide receiver Isaiah Winstead out of East Carolina. If you're unfamiliar with Winstead, don't worry. No one is familiar with Winstead, but in 13 games with the Pirates last year, he registered 88 catches for just over 1,000 yards and six touchdowns. The cool thing about this is nobody was interested in this guy. He didn't have a single contract offer or a minicamp invite. But on April 30th, he tweeted out a video of himself running routes against defenders. Quote, 6'4", 210, moving like this. No minicamp invite or UDFA deal. Behind the scenes on what I can do. Now, less than a week later, he signed with the 49ers. And after the deal was announced, he tweeted, Thank you, God. Only opinion that matter. Y'all won't regret it at 49ers. He joins a crowded wide receiver room. There are 12 wideouts on the Niners roster right now. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Ray Ray McLeod, Danny Gray, Chris Conley, Willie Sneed, Tyron Johnson, Tay Martin, Daz Newsom, Ronnie Bell, and Shea Wyatt. Now, there were rumors online that said he ran a 4-5 40-yard dash, but Dane Brugler's draft guide said Winston ran a 4-7-5. We'll find out if he's something real or if he's just a camp body. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Thursday, Nick Wagner has a great article on ESPN.com about why the 49ers took a kicker as early as they did. Most of the quotes you've probably heard before, but there are some really good nuggets in there about both Jake Moody and his predecessor, Robbie Gold. One thing to watch, I am starting a brand new tradition on my Patreon page. We're going to do a monthly Zoom hangout. The first one's going to be tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern. We're going to talk about the Niners draft, the quarterback stuff, Shanahan, anything you want, really, for about 30 to 45 minutes. We can even get into some of the behind the scenes stories from my 15 some odd years in the sports media business. I hope you'll come and check it out. Patreon.com slash gold standard 49ers podcast network. And yes, I now realize that website name is way too long. One thing you may have missed, Matt Mayoko has an article on NBC Sports Bay Area promoting the Dwight Clark Legacy Series. It's a fundraiser for the Golden Heart Fund. Uh, That fund assists former 49ers players who are struggling with physical ailments, mental wellness, and financial hardship. In the article promoting the event, Matt Mayoko mentions that Kyle Shanahan will be there. Quote, Shanahan will provide a state of the 49ers and undoubtedly an update on the team's quarterback situation. That's a wrap on today's 49ers in 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. Stay tuned for the original Gold Standard Podcast with myself and Levin Black. That drops later today. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk tomorrow. May the 4th be with you.